So this is an example I keep of some historic damage to a book from a bookworm or a book louse. It's not active anymore and while you, you're very unlikely to find a book louse in and of itself because it's tiny you'll find the damage of where it's been. And you can see here the, the trail of where it's eaten through the paper. It's gone through several pages. I can see that it's got evidence of where it's been eating the pages and evidence of where it's tunnelling. There's like a little pinprick where it's still going. But then it's gone it's got to this um, illustrated page which is shiny. It's like a shinier type of paper and I don't think it likes that type of paper because it has made its way through it but then it hasn't gone any further. It's doubled back along the spine of the book as if to to go back and eat the paper that it likes and not the shiny stuff.